Hi everyone, welcome back to No Nails. My name's Sarah Clark. In today's video, we're going to be doing a set perfect for any festival, tie-dye nails. So we've already prepped these nails and fitted and shaped the tip, so we're going to dehydrate them. Just on the natural nail. And two coats of acid free primer. One dip will do all five fingers. And then we're going to use soft beige acrylic. So I like to build my acrylic up in two parts. Bleed out the first bead and put it in the back third. Bring that down to the tip. Just pat, pressing, pulling, and wipe the sides. Keep dipping your brush in the monomer. You don't want it sticking to the acrylic. If you've put too much product on, just brush it down and cut it off the tip. And the cuticle bead, just small, just a small bead, don't bleed it out. Give it a few seconds to polymerize before you lay it down. Pop it down, if you touch it, it'll go into the cuticle nicely for you. And you just need to make sure you bring down the sides. It right in. If you need to touch a little bit up, that's fine. Just take a tiny bead. Same again. Small and medium sized bead, bleed it out a little bit, pop it in the back third. Tap around the top slightly just to blend it out and start to bring it down. Small cuticle bead. Don't bleed it out. Pop it down. Touch it slightly, very gently, and it'll move into the cuticle area for you. And just tap around the side and start to bring it down. Repeat that same step on all five nails.
So I'm going to use this ceramic cone bit to go around the cuticle area just to smooth that out. Very gently on a low speed. We will come back and perfect it with a file later on. It's just to tape down that bulk. And we'll switch that to the tapered ceramic bit. Again, on a low speed, just come down the nail just to reduce the bulk. Really light touches. If you press too hard, would it take like a big chunk out? It, yeah, it'll take a lot out. It's really easy to take too much off with a with an e-file, so you should just do it a little bit and use 240 grit file up the side walls and the cuticle and dust over the top just to blend it all together. Same again, the edge up the side walls. Don't forget to go underneath to make sure you've got all the excess from under there. And the cuticle area and down the other side. And we'll buff over these nails, take out all the scratches. Get all that from underneath. Gently, because you can ruin your shape if you do it too hard. Then we'll wipe over with some gel residue wipe off solution. Rid of all that dust. So now we're going to be using sangria. Lilac breeze. First night. And Snow White. And we'll use a double zero three brush and a triple zero three brush. I've already put them on my palette. And we will start with this colour. Using the double zero three brush because it's thicker just to put this on. Wipe your brush in between. Oh, so you just do like chunky lines. Yeah, for this, for this bit, so we should repeat the colours. So you get to the end. And we're going to take the triple zero three brush and drag through the bow. And with some gel res and a 3D brush. 
to wipe some of this away. We're going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds into the black and we're just going to go around for the head. Pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Three little dots on the top of the head. And his eye. There you go, quick kill it. Dot and tool, just to do the middle of the eye, and we'll scatter some of these colours. Stick that in the lamp. And now we'll tie that in with the other nails. We'll do a bit in each corner. matter if your lines aren't straight, I'm going to blend them anyway. Back to your triple zero or three brush, start in the corner and pull out. Flash key with that. Time we'll do it from this corner. Again, drag it through from the corner. There you go. And we're just going to randomly scatter them on the other two nails. Tie in with that. Okay, full cure on that now. Now we're going to cap this design in Urban Graffiti Top Coat. The good thing about soft beige is you can do any design on top of it without having to put a cover colour over the top of the acrylic. It's a really good base. Pop that in the lamp. I'm going to finish this off with some watermelon cuticle oil.
hate other people. Hmm. Oh, man, I killed her. I'll take that off. So there it is, tie dye nail art using gel polish. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. What was that for? What did I do? Tie-dye. Tie-dye nails. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> My head's all over.